Hey guys, it's Sebastian, host of Knife Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. We're so excited about this one right here. This is actually a really nice, what I think is basic, two queen room at Flamingo. This is room number 28166 in the Habitat Tower. And it's all the way at the end of the hallway. Like this is as far away from the elevator that you can get. But you know what? I think it's totally worth it. And you guys are gonna agree. First, this is the entry area right here, which is standard for most Flamingo rooms. You've got your closet on one side, bathroom on the other. Let's take a look in here. Okay, so you have your ironing board, dresser, standard. And then on the opposite side of the doorway, you're gonna have your bathroom, which is pretty basic, but it's actually nice and clean. Look at this backsplash here. This is the same as in the bathrooms at Planet Hollywood. It's actually pretty nice. So you've got a nice big counter here for all your stuff. That's like the most annoying thing when you get into a hotel room that's a basic hotel room wherever you are and it has a small counter and you have all your stuff on either side. But does you have everything? You've got your blow dryer in here, some extra toilet paper, and you've got your shower on this side. Now, this is to maximize space, right? Because it's a smaller bathroom, so they don't have a door opening in or coming out there, but they do have the shower curtain so if you guys watch any of our Harris videos, Harris has the same style shower, but they don't have a shower curtain. But you still wanna be careful though, because look at this here. So you know the floor is gonna get wet. So you wanna make sure you have a towel down here because it does get slippery. Now, some people like this, some people don't. I'm on team like this. I like that there's shampoo, conditioner, and body wash already here for you. So like I mentioned, this was from what I remember booking, just a regular two queen room. Typically we get a one king, if you guys watch our room tours, unless we have people visiting, we've got family flying in. So I was able to get a free room and ask for two queens. I didn't ask for anything special. This is what we got, let's go. Right when you walk in, it's just a big, open, clean, renovated space. You've got your bed, You've got workstation on this side with a nice lamp. Nice big television too, I like that. All your power here for all your phones and gadgets. And then you've got your safe and some storage, but you also got complimentary refrigerator. Today we did get a shelf, so that's good. You never know, sometimes you get a shelf, sometimes you get no shelves, extra shelves. Now. This I have to talk about for a second. First of all, this is like such a classic touch for the Flamingo. It's like a Miami vibe over here. And you know what? It's not fancy, but it's like classic Vegas. And it's clean and it's nice. Flamingo is like one of the oldest hotels down here. And look how nice this room is. Now, this is the bonus part that I wasn't expecting. You've got like this little mini living room seating area that I really like. The color scheme goes right with the entire theme of the property. And you've got to love this artwork over here. Check this out. Classic Flamingo. Let's talk about this view. We've never had a side view before. So we're on the side of the Flamingo building facing Harris. So look at this view over here. We've got straight down the Link Promenade, right down there, a view of the Link Pool. You've got a, you've got a view of the sphere right there. And then right on the edge, you've got a piece of the high roller. Now check out the left. We've got Carnival Court right there. You've got just a nice view of the strip all the way out to the mountains. I love it, absolutely love it. All 
All right, guys, that's a wrap on this one. What are you guys' thoughts on this particular room right here? We have heard reviews. People say, oh, I'll never stay at the Flamingo. It's just so old. I'd rather stay somewhere else. This is actually nice. Center strip. You cannot beat this location. And when you look at what they're doing to these rooms here, this is like the best bang for your buck here in Vegas. But as always, we want to hear from you guys. That's our opinion based on our experience. Comment below. And also, don't forget to check out the description so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. Also, hit us up on social media we're everywhere. We're TikToking, we're Instagramming, we're threading, we're snapping, we're on Facebook. We're everywhere. We're Ninth Island Connection. And another bonus, we go live on Wednesdays, typically between the hour of noon and 1 p.m., sometimes a little bit later just depending on our travel but 99 percent of the times you can count on us being there between noon and 1 p.m where we bring you an update on what to expect that upcoming weekend so we go live on wednesday we let you know what's going on in vegas on thursday friday saturday sunday and monday if it's a long weekend and we're talking pool parties concerts traffic construction weather big winners and where they're winning so that you can have the best possible experience while you're here in Vegas. All right, guys, thanks. We'll see you next time. Four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.